all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a November 2021 prediction. But before we jump into reading selection, I would like to take just a moment to thank the angels, ancestors, spirit guides that make these readings possible, both mine and yours, because without them, this would not work. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now for reading selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have your own intuitive selection method, go ahead and pause the video and make your choice. For those of you that would like a little bit of assistance honing in with your intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise beginning now. Start by closing your eyes, taking a slow, deep breath. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors which reading is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one. Reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the obsidian. All right, let's see what your signifier card is. It is freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So freedom is gonna play a significant factor in your November. Now let's take a look at your November 2021. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us through the cards showing predictions for November 2021 for group number one. All right, you start with faith. Two of coins, all right. Ooh, the two of cups. This is beautiful, guys. The six of swords, all right, we'll deal with that. And the Seven of Wands. All right, this is beautiful. Some of you are getting married in November with the Faith card. Some of you are going back to school. You know, this the, this, the Faith card is the Hierophant. So it represents religion. It represents marriage. It represents um, education. You know, anything really institutional. So some of you have that type of energy interacting with you in the beginning of November. Congratulations to the people who are getting married. It looks like it's your soulmate. This Two of Cups is the soulmate card. So it looks like you've married your soulmate. Now that you still have decisions about where you're gonna live, what you're gonna do, 
you know, with the two of coins. And for those of you that are already with a soulmate, this two of cups can represent a partnership as well. You've got double twos coming out. So, you know, 22, um, look at the angel numbers if you are interested in that. Now, the two of coins is deciding where you're gonna spend your money, who you're gonna live with, where you're gonna live, how you're gonna spend your money, but it also carries the implication that you have the money to decide where to spend it. So just keep that in mind, you know, things look okay financially, and there's definitely freedom playing a factor in the, in the whole thing. Now you come down to the Six of Swords, that considers that, I mean, that could be travel. Like it looks like this is, you know, possibly a honeymoon for some of you. But uh, this Six of Swords is travel, it's going on, it's moving on, but it's taking those problems with you. So we'll get Moonology and see how you can step out of some of the problems that you're carrying. And finally, you end for the end of November in the Seven of Wands, which is fighting for what you want, but the guarantee that you'll win if you put your energy in, because this wand is so much brighter than all the other wands. So you will win wherever you put your energy. Now, let's see first off what the angels have to add to your reading for November, 2021. You get greet the dawn. So in November, try to make a point of meditating, especially in the morning if you can. You know, see a sunrise. Decide that you're going to watch the sunrise and then really enjoy it and be in that moment. Um, yeah, so they suggest that you greet the dawn for the month of November. Now, I want to start with Moonology for this Six of Swords. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors... The Six of Swords was them moving on and taking their problems with them. How do they resolve some of their problems so they can leave them behind? Work through your fears. All right, so a lot of the, what you're carrying with you is fear. Don't be afraid. This is your journey. It's no one else's journey. I feel like somebody who's getting married or has just gotten married is worried of being like their parents, is worried of things not working out because it didn't for your parents. Um, just work through those fears. And that's a very specific message. Everyone, please keep in mind, this is a general reading. Sometimes those specific messages come out because I'm a light worker and that's what I'm here to do is deliver messages. I'm a message bearer. So for those of you that are, you know, whatever problems you're carrying, work through those fears and you're going to leave some of that problem behind. Now, that faith card, let's get Queen of the Moon for the faith card. So, looking at faith, the Hierophant, ooh, you're breaking through your boundaries. All right, so in this boundaries card out of Queen of the Moon, see how this little flower has broken through the glass boundary that contains the woman? And her emphasis, her whole universe is rotating around this flower right now because it's done something she didn't think was possible. So the universe is taking you down a path that you want to go down, some of which might seem impossible to you, but it's a beautiful breaking through of your boundaries, whether it's for education, marriage, religion, spirituality, you know, something organizational, foundational, you know, you are breaking through your boundaries there. Now let's get spell casting oracle for the two of coins so the two of coins was you deciding where you're going to spend your money animals all right so some of you um some of you are deciding where you're going to live you know if you're going to get animals if you're going to share an animal in this relationship because there's definitely a relationship here for for many of you and uh you know the choice of you know are we going to have you know a dog are we going to have a cat are we going to get fish you know are we going to share this responsibility together you know do you want to do this together and really follow your heart these are your decisions to make um, the animals are coming out, so, you know, also pay attention to your spirit animals. If you keep seeing an animal, kind of, you know, investigate it. Look it up. See what's going on with that. See what it stands for spiritually. 
Now, I would also like to, I think I'm gonna do spell casting Oracle for both the Two of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So for the Two of Cups, you get trust. All right, so whether this Two of Cups is a romantic relationship, whether it is a soul mate relationship, or it's just a partnership of a business partnership in some way, there is trust needed. So you need to put your trust in this. It's okay. This seems like a very safe relationship for you. So really put your trust in. Now for the Seven of Wands, let's take a look there. The Seven of Wands is you fighting but winning. You get truth. All right. So just stick with the truth. Work through those fears. Put trust in your relationships. Like this actually looks like a fantastic November. There's barely anything bad to deal with. You're just kind of going through some foundational changes and you have to flow with it. But this partnership looks fantastic, whether it's soulmate or not. And you can really win wherever you put your energy. You are free to put your energy wherever you want. Now, let's see what Beyond Lemuria has to add for your November 2021. So, Beyond Lemuria. Ooh, Heart Chakra, unfurling back to love. All right, you can have faith in love. Love is pure. I know that many of you have been hurt before, but that, you know, love doesn't actually hurt you. People can hurt you, but love doesn't. So trust in love and open that heart chakra. Let love in. Now let's see what the spirit guides have to add for your November. So we'll use the messages from the guides deck. Learn from your mistakes. Okay, so like I said, some of you have been hurt before. Some of you have had relationships before that uh, you made mistakes, they made mistakes, there's just mistakes. Like there's really no relationship where everybody's per where anybody's perfect. So learn from those mistakes, whether they're relationship related or school related or you know whatever it is, learn from your mistakes. But remember, you're free to put your energy wherever you want. Ooh, okay, so you start with blue flame out of the starseed deck. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. All right, so let your love shine on your November. Now, what else for group number one? Vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. All right. Some of you are trying to manifest in the month of November, and we'll talk about it in just a second. Light. This is the time to reveal your radiant light to the world all right, so it is time to reveal your light. Some of you are trying to manifest this soulmate relationship. It doesn't mean it's going to come in November, although it could because it's right here in the center of November for you. You need to trust that the universe is going to bring it to you in the right timing. You need to trust your ability to create the vision of your perfect soulmate in your soul. You know what you want. So tell the universe what you want. They're gonna bring this person to you. And this person's gonna be made to fit you. So just have some trust in the universe. This is all gonna work out. November is gonna be a very foundational month for everybody watching this video. So good luck as you go through the changes in front of you. Remember to keep that heart chakra clear. All right, that is all I have for reading number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the purple amethyst. All right, let's take a look at your signifier card. You get purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So your purpose here is to love and be loved, and that's gonna really significantly affect your November. 
So just remember, you can show love when it's difficult, you know? Love is the energy that moves us all. Now, let's see what your November holds. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please speak to us clearly through the cards. Showing November predictions for group number two. All right. Ooh, you start with the four of coins. Very nice. I like it. And then the palace of swords. The knight of cups. That's beautiful. The king of swords. Okay. And the tower. All right, so things are definitely changing for you in November. It looks like these changes are good, though. I mean, there's going to be some challenges and tests because you got the King of Swords coming out. That's just that's just what it is. But you can bring your strategy to the table, and it's going to help in whatever challenge and test this is for you. Now, the Four of Coins, that talks about stable financial foundations. Um, it, it could connote it could have the connotation of hanging on to your finances just a little bit too closely. Like see how he's protecting it in this box with the key around his neck. And you know, he just is that's so just don't oh, be overly tight with your finances, you know, spend some money where you need to spend some money, have some fun, do something nice for yourself. But uh, but you look like you have stable financial foundations, so that's great. The Palace of Swords is about action and figuring out where you need to take action. The Knight of Cups is beautiful. It generally includes some form of proposal, whether this is like a promotion at work proposal or like a romantic proposal. That's just going to be however that resonates for you. But there's definitely a proposal of some kind in the Knight of Cups. And then we come to the Tower, which is at the end of your November. The tower is sudden change. It's something changing. Um, you don't necessarily see this change coming, but it's not, you know, in this particular deck, the tower, it's just the trellis that's crumbling. It's not the whole tower. So it is not a huge change. If there was a huge change, something ending, ending, and you know, a new beginning, then this would be the death card. And it's not, it's the tower. So there is change, but it's not gigantic. Now, let's see what the angels have to add for your November. So, angels, for group number two, for their November 2021. Universal heart. All right, you need to connect to the universe. Spend some time meditating. Figure out exactly what you want and be very specific when you tell your angels about it. So, that is some action you can take in this palace of swords. <laughs> Now, um, because if you connect with the universal heart and really pay attention to, to your heart, your soul, the angels information that's coming to you, then you can guide your direction. You can guide your path in the direction of choice. So, all right. So out of moonology, we'll start with the tower. All right. So a time for healing. So something is changing, but it is going to bring healing in for you. So this is a very good change. Don't be afraid of this change. When it happens, it's going to be, it's going to bring in a time of healing for you. Now, I would also like the Palace of Swords. All right, nothing will come of this situation. All right, it's up to you whether or not you take action. It really is. There is something you can do. There's action you can take. For some of you, you're not going to take the time to think it through and figure out what you should do. Um, so nothing will come of the situation. You know, it just, it is what it is, but, uh, but really consider, you know, what actions you need to take with regards to this four of coins and this knight of cups. Let's see what they have to add in the queen of the moon. All right. So the four of coins, Surrender. All right. So you are financially stable. Surrender to the universe. Spend a little bit of money on yourself. Don't hold on to that money too tightly. All right. All of that could go into this action, but you have to do something or nothing will come of this situation. Okay. You have to take the action of the palace of swords or nothing's going to happen. 
Now for the Knight of Cups for that proposal. Self-love. Oh, okay. Yeah. You need to love yourself, okay? You need to really love yourself and take some time, spend some money on yourself. You know, if you want, for those of you where this is a romantic proposal, you know, they love you. They already love you. But, you know, they say you have to love yourself before someone else can truly love you. So take some time and love yourself. They will love you all the more. Now, let's get a look at the spellcasting oracle for the King of Swords. All right, you're told good luck. So luck's on your side with regard to whatever that challenge or test is. Your strategy is going to help you through it. You know, you can strategize your way through it. You're moving into a time of healing, so everything looks good. Your November looks great. Just make sure you take the actions you need to take to surrender to the universe and show yourself some self-love. Now, let's see what Beyond Lumeria has to add for your November 2021. Home. All right. Some of you are going home. Some of you are finding home. Some of you are making a new home. And for some of you, this is confirmation that you're a starseed. So take it as it resonates because the home card can mean all of those things. And uh, yeah, so some of you may be going home for, you know, to end Thanksgiving sometime to see your family. Um, yeah, some of you are going to be introducing people to your family. That's a, that's a beautiful energy. All right, let's see what the spirit guides have to add to your November. Never judge another. All right, so you're going to be tempted to judge other people in November. Like, that's just the way of it. When you get the never judge another card, that's like, hey, this is out there. So just keep in mind to keep judgment as not being something that is, you do. You know, we, we can't judge anybody else. Everybody's on their own path. So just take it as it resonates. And uh, yeah, keep it in mind for November. Now let's see what the little star seed deck has to add for your November. Okay, there we go. All right, so you started with abundance. That's beautiful. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open, okay? So surrender, serve humanity. Now next you get Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved, which is what I said at the beginning with purpose. That's why you're here is to love and to show love, to receive love, including from yourself and to yourself. So some self-love, please. You know, take a bubble bath. Buy yourself something luxurious. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. You are worth it. Finally, you get inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So whatever it is you're afraid of, pour love into the situation. For those of you that are going home, pour love into the situation with whatever challenges and tests are going to face you there. So just take it as it resonates, please. This is a general reading, so there's lots of specific messages and they can't all be for everyone. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the clear quartz. All right, let's take a look at your signifier. You start with discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So your discernment's going to be playing a significant factor in your November 2021. Now, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards, showing November 2021 for group number three. You start with the emperor. That's beautiful. All right. All right, then you got the five of coins coming out. Ace of swords, okay, good deal. 
two of wands. I like it. That's some partnerships. That's following your path. That's beautiful. And then at the end of November, you've got the chariot. So it looks good. You have at the beginning of November, you start in the emperor. So this is you taking a power position in your life. This is you making decisions to take control of your life, to, you know, do what it is you're here to do. Now, towards the beginning of November, you've got some fear going on. We'll, we'll pull some moonology, see how you can step out of this five of coins. This is fear of poverty. This is fear of loneliness. This is just fear of being left out in the cold all by yourself. You know, it's, it's fear. So just, you know, take it as it resonates, but it's there and we'll see how you can step out of it. Now, the Ace of Swords is a new beginning that you have to take some form of action for, but it's going to be great and it's going to move you down your path because next you've got the Two of Wands, which is you following your path. This can be creative path. This can be a personal path. You know, this can be a love relationship, you know, walking with your your soulmate. This can be, you know, it's it's definite partnerships and following your path. And the chariot is progress down your path from your work that you put in. So by mid-November, things are just moving along for you. So you do come out of this five of coins relatively quickly. Now let's deal with what the angels have to add first. So angels, what would you like to add for group number three for November, 2021? Archangel Jophiel. All right. Archangel Jophiel is the Archangel of joy. So Archangel Jophiel, I am going to get one more card for her. So she says, be discerning. Wow. And you got discernment. Okay, so you need to really follow your gut. You know, you need to follow your gut with the emperor. You need to follow your gut with the ace of swords. You know, follow your gut as you step into your strength in your life and follow your gut as you take action in your new beginning. Now, let's deal with the five of coins because I want to get that one out of the way. So from Unology, angels, spirit guides, ancestors... How do they step out of the fear in this five of coins? All right. It says you and your loved ones are safe. So you don't have to worry about yourself financially. You don't have to worry that you're going to be lonely. You and your loved ones are absolutely safe. You're taken care of. So just when you encounter this fear, remember that it's you've got this new beginning coming and you guys are safe. So everything is good. Now, I would like Queen of the Moon for the Emperor, please. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Queen of the Moon for the Emperor, please. Gratitude. All right. So, be grateful to the universe for every decision that you make that takes you in the right direction of your path. Be grateful to yourself for making the strong decisions, for taking that power role in your life. Be grateful for all that you have, and it will bring more good things. Now, for the Ace of Swords, we'll also do Queen of the Moon. You've got resilience. So this, there may be a heavy burden in this new beginning, okay? There may be something that's heavy that you kind of have to carry along with you. Um, first off, release whatever you can in this new beginning. But as you figure out what actions you need to take, know that you are resilient enough to to make it through this just beautifully now let's see what this two of wands brings out of the spell casting oracle deck so for the two of wands answers all right so as you follow this path you're going to have answers regarding romantic partnerships regarding uh creative partnerships you know, regarding following your path. So answers are coming to you in relatively late November. Now the chariot out of the spellcasting oracle, justice. All right. So some of you are, and you know, disclaimer, not a lawyer, not a doctor, not any of that. I am an intuitive tarot reader. When justice comes out, sometimes there is a court case and it, it says, Hey, things are looking good. So just take it as it resonates. This is your progress. You are moving forward. It also, justice also brings in balance. 
So remember to stay balanced as you have all this progress. Take good care of yourself. Now, I would like to see what the spirit guides have to add to your November 2021. So from the spirit guides, practice moderation. All right, so take it as it resonates. You know, we all have things that we do just a little bit too much of. So practice moderation, bring yourself into balance. Now let's see what the star seed oracle has to add. So let's see here. All right. You start with strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. All right, so you've got the strength for this. Next, you get dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. So some of those answers that you're looking for are coming to you through your dreams. And finally, you get intuition. Trust your intuition. It's been guiding you to the answers that you seek. So be discerning. Call out to Archangel Jophiel. She's going to bring you joy through the month of November. Follow that intuition. You know, when you get this new beginning and you have action you have to take, follow your intuition. It's going to be spot on. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the green aventurine. All right. Let's take a look at your signifier card. You start with peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. All right, so there's going to be a peacefulness to your November, which is fantastic. Like, everybody loves the, the idea of peacefulness. So let's see what else your November holds. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards, showing November 2021 for group number four. All right, you start with the chariot. So fast moving progress in November. All right, you've got the Knight of Swords. That signifies challenges and tests, but they're also very short lived. It's a very fast moving energy. Ooh, Knight of Coins. So new financial opportunity towards the mid of, oh, and the Four of Coins. All right, stable financial foundations and the Palace of Coins. Okay, so you are stepping into something beautiful that's on a financial material plane. You've got progress coming out of the chariot, so you've put your hard work in. Things are moving forward quickly in the beginning of November. You're going to hit a couple snags towards the beginning part of November. Some challenges, some tests. These could be at work. They could be at home, but... Uh, you know, they could be with friends, but there's, they're short-lived. So whatever challenges these are, you're going to come through them really quickly. Then you've got the Knight of Coins coming out in the mid part of your November. That is a opportunity of a financial nature. So it could be a new job opportunity, could be a new career, um, could be, you know, a, an inheritance is what I just heard. So some, somebody somewhere is getting some form of inheritance, um, but uh, you've got stable financial foundations right afterwards. So towards the end of November, your finances look good. Just remember, don't cling to that money too tightly, okay? See how he's got this key on his, you know, neck and the, he's just clinging to this box of money? Don't cling to your money too tightly. You have a stable financial foundation. That's the palace of coins. Like that's saying, hey, you are, you live in a place of stability now. So whatever this opportunity is, it's beautiful. And you're going to live in a place of stability by the end of November. So take it as it resonates. But this is a beautiful November. Now, let's see who or what the angels have to say about your November. You get the universal heart, so you need to talk to the angels. You need to look inside yourself, really connect, meditate, 
and tell them exactly what you want because they're bringing this opportunity to you and it will be what you want if you tell them what you want. Now, I would like to get a Moonology for the Knight of Swords because that was challenges and tests, but they're short-lived. So let's see what there is to add. Adjustments are required. So on the path that you're on, and some of you know exactly what this Knight of Coins is, you're like, oh yeah, that's you know the promotion that I've been waiting for and I've been working hard for. Well, there's still a few adjustments that are going to be required. You're going to hit a snag, you know, some kind of challenge test towards the beginning of November. But don't worry, you're going to step into these coins and they're going to be fantastic. Now, I want to get Queen of the Moon for the Chariot. So, peace. Okay, you got peacefulness, you got peace. You have just been in a, I mean, like, I think you're kind of like this girl and you're just very zen. And, you know, you are working through this. This is exactly what you deserve. So, you know, know that this abundance that you're stepping into, this, you know, whatever these opportunities are that bring in this abundance, you deserve it. You know, you have put the hard work in. So be at peace and and know that you are worthy. Now, I would also like to get Queen of the Moon for the Knight of Coins. So, Queen of the Moon. All right. So, some of you, this opportunity is coming out of darkness because you got the darkness card. So, some of you, and when I say darkness, I don't mean it's a dark opportunity. I mean, it's coming out of the blue. It's coming from somewhere you can't see it. So know that it is a, you've got this opportunity coming in, in mid-November of 2021, and it's going to come, you know, out of the clear blue sky. It's going to come out of the darkness where you just, you can't see it till bam, it's there. So just be ready for it. It's coming, it's, you, this opportunity is headed your way. Now, I would like to get Spellcasting Oracle for the Four of Coins. So let's see the stable financial foundations. You get finding. All right. So you are finding this wonderful stable financial foundation. It is coming to you. Now for the palace of coins as well. Compassion. All right. So yeah, use your abundance. However, this abundance looks, use it in a compassionate way. Be compassionate with everyone involved in your circle and know that the universe is being compassionate with you. Now, I would like to see what Beyond Lemuria adds for your November. So, Beyond Lemuria. Gracious receptivity. So you need to graciously accept from the universe this wonderful opportunity that's coming in. So just focus on gracious receptivity and gracious means, you know, thankful, be thankful for it. So gratitude, gratitude. Now let's see what the spirit guides have to add. Possess self-confidence. All right. So as you go into November, possess self-confidence. You are absolutely worthy of this opportunity. So don't let it go. Even though it comes out of the clear blue sky, don't let it go. Now, let's see what the Little Star Seed deck has to add to your reading. All right. You start with love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. All right, that's going to help bring you peace, which I think you're already in a very peaceful state, but it's going to perpetuate your peace. Next, you get blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Sorry about that. My phone rang. And finally, you get gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. All right. So, like I was saying, gratitude, gratitude, because you are finding this wonderful financial opportunity so just know that mm -hmm. 
I'm so sorry about that. You know, I'm a tarot reader, but I'm also a mom and a grandma, and sometimes I have to take a minute when my phone rings. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I was saying have gratitude, receive this wonderful opportunity graciously, and know that you have a fantastic November coming. So, focus on love. You know, show yourself love, show others love, receive love, and definitely remember you're worthy of this opportunity and this wonderful abundance because you are finding it. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the lapis lazuli. All right, let's take a look at your signifier card. You get cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So the angels in the universe are saying, hey, you know, we're all trying to cooperate to take you the direction that you want to go. So just, you know, try to remember love in all things as the universe moves around you. Now, let's take a look at your November 2021. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards showing November 2021 for group number five. All right, you start with the Ace of Swords and Judgment, so you're getting a second chance. Mid-November, you've got the Eight of Cups, so could be some travel going on, um, but also there is definitely a natural ending of some kind, so something is coming to an end. Now, ooh, towards the end, you get the Nine of Coins, which is about you rewarding yourself with luxuries, Wow, and the end of November is the sun for you. That is beautiful. Okay, so November is going to be a brilliant, bright month. You definitely need to cooperate with your angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Keep love in the situation because you're moving through something. This, you know, towards the beginning of November, there's going to be an ace of swords. There's going to be a brand new beginning where you have to take action, but you are plenty strong enough for it. It brings in a second chance sometime in the beginning of November. So you got this beautiful second chance. There's going to be some travel for some of you towards the midpoint of November um, or, or towards the end, like, you know, in the middle somewhere. Um, but uh, there is also a natural ending for many of you. This is an ending that takes you to a wonderful place, though, because it's like, see how he's walking to the moon? So it is, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful ending. Now, the nine of coins is you rewarding yourself with luxuries. So, you know, take some time, reward yourself, you know, take good care of yourself. And at the end of November, you've got the sun. That is the most brilliant card in the deck. It's all fantastic. It is just absolute growth, you know, spiritual growth you know, emotional growth. It's just so much growth. So your the end of your November looks amazing. Now let's take a look at what the angels have to add to your reading. So angels for November. Ooh, you've got courage coming out. So bring your courage to the table. Have courage to take the action you need to in this second chance. It's going to go to a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Now, I would like to get Moonology for the Eight of Cups. So this natural ending, this travel, whatever it represents, it's time to take action. Okay, that's what I was, that's what I was saying. You know, you will be taking action as this natural ending happens. Um, the, the action is in the beginning of November. You're still taking action by mid-November but it takes you to such a fantastic place. This is, I mean, this is really, really good. So for the Ace of Swords and the Sun, I am gonna pull Queen of the Moon. 
starting with the Ace of Swords, you get resistance. All right, so you are strong enough. This is saying you're strong enough. You have this resistance. You can pick up the energy you have and take the action you need to in this beginning. So just take it as it resonates, but there's definite action that you are strong enough for here. And the sun, gratitude. All right, be grateful for this wonderful, wonderful energy that is interacting with you. This is a beautiful time. It's a beautiful thing happening. It's a beautiful time. It is so much growth. Like there is just, it's the sun shining on you in this brilliant light. So be grateful for it. Now, let's see what judgment brings out of the spell casting oracle. So, for judgment and the second chance, ooh, prosperity. So, some of you are getting a second chance at prosperity. That's beautiful. Um, this second chance definitely brings in prosperity, whether it's prosperity in love, prosperity in money. You know, it's, it's definitely prosperity. Now, for the nine of coins, you get manifestation. All right. So some of you need to reward yourself with some luxuries, reward yourself with something financial um, in your manifestations. You know, if you're hanging on to your money super tight and never spending it on yourself, then it's really hard to manifest more, you know, because you're just clinging to it. So really, you know, reward yourself. It's part of your manifestation. Now, I would like to see what Beyond Lumeria adds to your November because it is just so brilliant and beautiful. Ooh, sacral chakra. All right. So, some of you need a little bit of balancing in your sacral chakra. It controls your creativity, controls your sex drive, that sort of thing. So, just whatever it is, you need some balance. Take it as it resonates. You can look up, you know, balancing meditations for your sacral chakra, balancing music, you know, any of those things, and that will probably help you through the month of November. Now, I would also like a spirit guide card for November for group number five. So, out of the spirit guides, love is your energy. All right, the energy of love, love is your energy. Love is what you need to focus on for the entire month of November. It is going to take you to a fantastic place, which is the sun. So just remember to be grateful for everything you receive in November because it's going to be beautiful and wonderful. Now, let's see what the little starseed deck has to add to your reading. All right, you start with magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. So please remember that you are plenty good enough for all of these wonderful things. Next, you get truth. See your light. Know your power. Have the courage to walk your truth. It is time to take action, okay? So just bring your light. Know your truth. Shed your light on the universe around you. And finally, you get live your truth. So you're, you here you're told to see your light and know your truth. Walk your truth. Live your truth. And share the love that's in your soul. So just let love flow in November. You are stepping into something wonderful and beautiful and you absolutely deserve it. So thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.